Hello, my name is Paul Goosens and I'd like to tell you about some of the engineering design challenges many of our clients are facing and why they're coming to us to help them solve them. First, let's talk about some of these challenges. Many engineering organisations face some major problems when designing and delivering new products. These include the discovery of key design issues very late in the development process that introduce unbudgeted costs and delays into the project. These delays often cause projects to overrun significantly, especially the issues arise during the prototyping or integration stages where real hardware is involved. And once a system has been delivered, failures and on-site service calls due to unforeseen weaknesses causing loss of production become extremely expensive, hurting the company's bottom line. Many of these issues come about because in the design process there are several groups, each focused on the development of one subsystem, using dedicated tools and methods to determine if their design will comply with the specifications for that subsystem only. However, it's only when the subsystems are integrated during prototyping or even final assembly that many problems arise. This is why many engineering organisations are turning to the use of system level modelling and why our clients have engaged the MapleSoft Engineering Solutions team to help them implement this methodology during the development of their own products. By combining MapleSim for system level simulation, Maple for parametric studies and optimization, and powerful model code generation capability with our mathematical modelling and analysis expertise, we offer a complete solution to address these challenges. In particular, we've helped our customers with validation and optimization of their product designs. Through the development of high-fidelity virtual prototypes, we help our clients to answer the question, will my design behave as specified? But they can go further and answer the question, how can we make it work better? Through parametric studies, sensitivity analyses, and rigorous optimization techniques. As I mentioned earlier, many manufacturers develop products that have multiple subsystems, frequently from different engineering domains, such as mechanical mechanisms that are connected to electrical or hydraulic actuators. Through the use of MapleSim, we can simulate the whole system so that any issues caused by the multi-domain subsystems interacting with each other can be found very early in the process and addressed at a fraction of the cost of discovering them during the hardware integration phases. However, developing the model isn't just an end in itself. Now that our clients have a good understanding of the likely dynamic behaviour of the system through the model, they have access to a fully parametric definition of that behaviour through the symbolically generated equations of motion. These can be brought into Maple, where our team has developed many analyses and calculation tools for our clients. In some projects, the final goal is to deploy the fully optimised model into the existing tool chain through our automated code generation capability. Typically, the model code is used for software in the loop and hardware in the loop testing of controllers. For HIL applications, it's critically important that the model can run in real time with the highest possible fidelity. Extending this further, there is a growing interest in formal methods for model simplification through rigorous techniques that remove detail to achieve very fast execution while minimizing loss of fidelity. Within the Engineering Solutions Group, we have a full-time advanced research group that has been engaged by several clients for longer-term projects to investigate the use of symbolic techniques for model order reduction and other simplification methods, particularly for model predictive control applications. Here are some example projects we've completed. For a robotics company, we provided a full fidelity model of the product along with a range of analytical design tools for path and task planning, actuator sizing and control design. Our physics-based battery model library has been used by many clients for load analysis, thermal runaway studies, and HIL testing of battery management systems. One area that's particularly important to us is in the analysis of dynamic loads. In machines that have complex mechanisms in particular, it can be a challenge to determine the transient loads caused by the changing inertias of the mechanism. Getting a handle on those loads helps to avoid overloading the actuators and reduces costs when choosing components for your design. It also provides more realistic loading inputs to finite element tools for detailed structural and vibration analysis. We've helped many clients to implement this level of dynamic analysis within their design processes. These include the development of tools for order analysis and vibration attenuation on large drive lines, as well as eigen analysis for stability studies of new designs that have inherent flexibilities. In a recent project, our client was having problems with actuators overheating in one of their manufacturing machines. We were able to show that the transient loads due to the inertia of the mechanism exceeded the safe limits of the motor. 
This could only be done through a dynamic analysis of the mechanism. Not only that, we developed a tool that could define a speed profile that would slow the mechanism during the peak inertial loads, thus reducing the load on the motor to within safe limits. In this way, instead of a costly refit of a larger motor, our client was able to address the problem with a simple change to the controller. They have since employed this technique on a new machine, which has led to significant improvements in reliability and virtually no costs in on-site repairs. If you think these kinds of solutions could be of use within your own organization, we can help you to define what you would like to achieve, how we'd achieve it together, and how we measure success. To minimize any risk, we provide a structured project definition process, starting with a detailed requirements analysis, followed by the definition of a pilot project that provides a proof of concept to ensure the main project will be successful, then a carefully phased project that's executed with frequent communication with your staff, and finally deployment of the solution into your existing processes, along with training to develop the in-house competence you need to use the solution effectively. Finally, I'd like to leave you with a quote from one of our clients, F.L. Schmidt, a global manufacturer of large mining equipment. We've been working with their engineering design team for the last two years and have been able to develop solutions for them that have provided much greater insight into the dynamic behaviour of their products than before. We've helped them to address several design issues long before they invest in the first prototype, thus saving them significant costs already. Through the successful completion of many projects for our clients, we have shown that MapleSim and Maple are invaluable tools for early system design and analysis. And MapleSoft's engineering solutions team has been able to deliver detailed system models and powerful analysis tools that have helped to reduce development risk, design better products, and get to market faster.